in his opinion, for the United States. And he joins us right now on Arizona's Morning News to talk about that and, and more. Uh, Senator Flake, uh, are you concerned with uh, Donald Trump's tone with Mexico? Well, I am concerned with anything that uh, disrupts our trade relationship with Mexico. We benefit significantly as a country and certainly as a state. You know, it's interesting how this is all interwoven, but uh, this talk about, you know, a 20 percent import tax from Mexico uh, to pay for the wall, which, of course, uh, you know, we need to defend our borders. But at the same time, do we need to start a trade war? It, it's it's all a little confusing, isn't it? It is. Um, the 20 percent uh, import tax would obviously not uh, not fly with the WTO. We would violate our agreement there. It would not uh, fly with NAFTA either. So. Uh, th- th- but then I think that was walked back. And what the president is talking about, we believe, we're not quite sure, is maybe agreeing with the House plan uh, for a, what's called a border tax adjustment. That's a very complicated uh, uh, you know, proposal that would have some of the same impact. Uh, it would probably be compliant with the WTO, but may not be compliant with NAFTA. So, Senator, last night you were tweeting out some numbers about NAFTA and its effects. Uh, what can you tell us about where exports, as far as billions of dollars, are now compared to before NAFTA? You know, before NAFTA, we were trading, uh, exchanging about $65 billion in goods uh, with Mexico. Now it's up to over $600 billion annually. That's good for both countries. Uh, some people will point to the trade deficit that we have, meaning that we import a little bit more, about $60 billion more than we export. But trade deficits are not the same as budget deficits, and, and a lot of people confuse the two. Mm-hmm. Most, uh, A lot of economists uh, believe that our lowest inflation rate is when we have greater trade deficits. And if you look over time, there's certainly no positive correlation between trade uh, deficits and uh, high unemployment, uh, you know, in, in this country. So a uh, trade deficit, the jury is out. Budget deficits are obviously bad, but our relationship with Mexico benefits both countries. We're talking with uh, Arizona Senator Jeff Flake this morning. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a free trade guy. I, I think it's it's healthy for our economy to have open and free trade with other countries. But my, I was also I was also raised by a blue collar guy, and I want to protect American workers. That's kind of like in, in my core. Uh, how do how do we combine? How do we get those two things together uh, and do both? Well, that when you look uh, in, in a campaign, obviously politicians will point to a shuttered factory, and and it's easy to scapegoat free trade. In truth, we're manufacturing about twice uh, what we did in the 1980s in this country, but we're doing so with one-third fewer workers. It's because of automation um, that 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 has happened, mechanization, robotics, uh, and and that's going to continue. We've got to deal with that, obviously, and make sure that people are retrained, but we'll never go back to the time when we had, you know, 100 workers on a factory floor uh, where we now just have 10 but it's far more productive. And so it's just a change in the times, and and we have to recognize that and plan for it, uh, but not blame free trade. All right. Uh, Senator, I appreciate your time this morning. Senator Jeff Flake joining us this morning, 748 now at KTAR.